So this is the Deep Waters League group stage. We're continuing. Previously, we have played Bacti. We have played Dragonstar with Miguel now. The maps will be Golden Pit, Ghost Lake, and Baltic. We're playing with the Deep Waters League uh, rules, which are you're starting with like extra bills. So it's a bit sped up. Let's see. What do I want to go for? Golden Pit, Golden Pit, Golden Pit. Go in a mines pick there. Can't go wrong with mines. Oh, actually, Burgundians. Can't go wrong with Burgundians. Burgundians. Francos. I like Burgundians against Franks. They're solid. All right. Do I go straight for Coastal or do I play other stuff? It's the question. Yeah, after seven years, the, whoever has the score lead wins. That is correct. That those are kind of similar-ish rules to Red Bull. It was to make sure the show continues, right? So you don't get these super dragged out games, which can be quite obnoxious for both players, casters, and viewers. I guess it's the, there's a similar reason here. Fast in Flemish. I'm mm, not sure about that. Does Deep Waters have a main caster? I don't believe so, no. Ah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, makes sense. Okay. It's a far bore. Don't like it. I'm not sure how I want to play this. I feel like with Burgundians, you have so many options. I go unique. I could even play crossbow if I wanted to. The world is at my feet when you play Broken Sieves. Miguel seems ni nice. Miguel's a great guy. So your uh, feelings on that topic is 100% accurate. To risk, maybe it's too risky to go past castle. I'll open stable probably, make some scouts, transition to Custelier later, get the eco upgrades. I did horse color, that was a waste though. It's gonna slow down my fuel age. Rip. Is this Joan of Arc campaign? Can't say it is. No. Eat it, Miguel, my friend. What are you doing? Might want to go for those deer. Bonjour, 
Vosotros si baci con joy. Si baci fa si baci i vai. Con joy. Vosotros si si i vai. Si baci sha sa. I am giving him a what's it called a target here by going here, but I want those deer. It's not on that gold. Stable it is. Confirm. I think we actually just play Spearman into Adapt, depending on what he's doing. It's kind of a straightforward economic approach. A heavy plow on every farm. They want to speed up Darkish, just do Empire Wars. Mm, I don't think they want to. Yeah, they want to speed it up, but they don't want to remove it, right? Empire Wars removes the whole process of Dark Age, uh, scouting and planning your map, uh, planning your strategy accordingly, and so forth, right? So my impression is that they wanna they wanna keep some of that aspect in, but they also still wanna speed up the game somewhat. That's the impression I got, or have from the way they are approaching this. I don't mind it to be honest. I think it's it's quite nice the way it is. Oh shit! It was more scouts than anticipated. I'll fight there, it's fine. Okay, what is our weakness right now? Our weakness is if he adds archers. We're gonna have to address that. Miguel, what are you doing? This is not how you do this. That is not how you fight those. It's just now moving to gold, so archers are out of the question. Oh shit. I think we're still quite fine here. Losing one villager. It's okay. Think about doing handcart. Blacksmith. You want to hear a joke? We always want to hear jokes. It's weird how you don't take damage in sync with animations. Uh, yeah, I can see that. It's, it's a getting used to thing. Sometimes you, it is in sync. Other times it's not. It's a bit of a strange one. I want to replenish the lumber camp, but I also need my two buildings to go up. Another stable? 
I think that's making it a little bit too easy for me to just react and go for like stable only, uh, barracks only. You can just go spearman, monk, essentially. Should he have done an arrest back to base? He should have applied pressure on this side as well, because this was completely open. I think he was too focused on the deer, although it's understandable. I think, I think he could have. Um, Get him! Bam! Five on gold is not enough for mass night production either. There should be TCs behind this. Yep. Would you mind sending a greeting for the BTG J clan? We are your fans since your beginnings. And let's send our greetings to BTJ clan. Greetings to Yaz. Hope all goes well, all is well, and all the good stuff. Open door. I should have known. I know. How does he free that? Question mark. He has a monk inside, right? Looks like he might be going pikeman himself, even. Uh, probably not. Looks pretty good for us. Get him. Got him. Pikeman pressure is real. Mm -hmm. 
Just now doing a sea workshop, so I have plenty of time still to be annoying there. Uh, what are the future strategy talk rules for chat during tournaments? Uh, it's different from tournament to tournament, essentially. I could go redemption here. Nah. Right. Yes. Ah, I misclicked. I was supposed to click the over to his knight. I clicked his monk. He was monk, man. Mm, do I do a cast in his face? Or in the middle? We have four relics. I wonder where the last one is. Scorpions. Hello. Uh, DWL stands for Deep Waters League. Castellino. We know he's up. We will try to add some hank in there, possibly. That should be a good counter to whatever he's doing, and then we can do the hit the switch, you know. DWL stands for doubt will lose. I accept that explanation as well. I mean, the game is just playing out perfectly for, say, for the Gremlins. Mizu, get off my feet. Unda. I guess he got one relic, right? I think that makes sense, but that's the case. Uh, 
I want this upgrade. So I have to take some precautions, obviously. Can't just go blindly like this and hope that it works out. We need to also make some units. <gasps> I did ballistics! Oh my god. That's horrible actually. I'm actually gonna have to give this up. I might have to abort the Flemish play. Because I messed up. I messed up big time. It would take too long for me to... I couldn't hold the castle. I was supposed to have chemistry done now. <laughs> Oops. There's a time limit as well, so not optimal. Actually, I'll still go for it. We just need to get some hand cannons out, prepare like six bomber cannons. Then we can go for it. And a little bit of a food bank. Then we're fine. He's probably making a paladin switch or something behind this. I would expect. Food bank is slowly getting there. I think we are very close to where we want to be. Oh shit. Oh shit. We have too many dudes. Just the paladin switch, we know. Oh, 
Game is laggy. Why is the game so laggy? We're running so slow. Stop it. This tech is so dumb. Whilst when it was first introduced, it still is. Do this very day. GG. I think it's a really rough matchup for Franks, to be fair. He was probably expecting to run into like Ethiopians or Mayans or one of those types of civs. The Burgundians is a rough, uh, rough pick. Yeah, I still think this tech and everything about it is stupid. Especially because he was doing the Paladin switch, right? We predicted that a long time ago because he kind of stopped uh, pushing with Halps and whatever. And uh, we didn't see him throwing Axemen either. And then the choices are very limited for him. I think the best thing he can do is probably help Hank and Nearest Axemen himself. But even then, it's really hard to stop. He had more food in the end. Would I guess it is a solid couple of minutes. Like five minutes of me not having any wheels working. But I guess it's a sizable amount. Game two is going to be Ghost Lake. I will probably go Britons there. Could be a Britons mirror, could be some goth pick shenanigans to try and counter. I'm fine either way. If I had like some very specific situation to look at, or like, hey, what did I do wrong in this game? For example, a specific game, something like that. It's easier to give direct answers and proper answers, but in general, questions tend to be extremely vague. And it's like it's really hard to give anything but these super basic answers. I'm not even sure how this ghost like version is. If it has uh, access to, if there's a lot of uh, cows in the on the middle, oh sheep. Okay. Oh, let's keep looking. That's the right pathing path you went for? Really? That's Miguel's cow, so I'm gonna leave those. Wait, middle seems really small. There's like no sheep there. What is this? Unless Miguel like found all of them already. I'm looking at the score. It looks like I have scouted more. I don't understand. Guess the this ghost like version just has a lack of sheep. Can we get your opinion on the following scenario? Doubt is Mongols and Viper as Chinese on Hillendale in AW4. Whom should I bet 5k to win? Uh, on Doubt. Mongols are pretty good. And Chinese, not as good. Like we barely found, we found some sheep, but like barely. I mean, I, I think these are Miguel's based on where they spawned and like it looks like we have cows as our starting sheep cattle and the uh, sheep are the Gaia neutral ones. Is lame allowed? Uh, I believe it is allowed, yes. I don't want to lame my friend Miguel. Yay. Hold him. Man, 
<laughs> Probably end up just going up. Okay, plan. Fast village, one range into faster ca fast castle, fast ish castle, and longbows. That's the game plan. Not very likely to be massively successful, but it can work. Especially if we get even extra range in Castledge. How do we see how many people watch the stream? Ooh, don't go there. Okay, good. Should be a viewer indicator on your where you're watching from. What is this? Such a lamer boy. That went pretty well for me though. He lost one of his militia and I didn't lose a single villager. Pretty nice. What is that dreadful thing below your nose? I think it's my mouth. Everyone has one. Actually, I, I don't think I can play Longbow because he is going to fast castle this. So if I go Longbow, it will be too greedy and it will just I will just die. Does it not shoot? Sure about that? I have fletching, Miguel. Yeah, that's what I thought. I have no confirmation whether it's a fast castle. It could actually be a few lich playing. Rip scout. When two years of transition has become very smooth, Viper, your two years old games were not nearly as polished as they are these days. Well, I would hope, hope I improve over two years. I would hope so, but thank you. Yeah, it's a fast castle for me. So I need to cover every angle with house walls and not palisade walls. Make sure he cannot easily break in. 
And we should be safe. This cross will wreck you with the timing. Uh, it won't because he won't be able to enter my base. And I'm not going to be that much later myself to uh, cast Lich. So if you ask me which situation I prefer right now, I would say mine. I'm going to have a more steady developed economy and my cast edge will not be too much slower than his. And I have horse, uh, horse collar, I have double bed axe, all the good stuff. Yeah, we know where his archers are. He has eight. If we had a palisade wall anywhere, definitely we would potentially be in a bit of a risk. But we're not. And this can't be open. I clicked outside. So. Can't be. I'm not sure why he's not being aggressive though. Right now, that's weird. I'm still getting a 16, 17 minute cast ledge time. But of course, this is with the Deep Waters League mod, so it's not that wild. Mm, we can wait. You may have just added down centers. If he notices that I'm also on his gold. It's like he has ballistics, no? What did I see that wrong? It felt an awful lot like ballistics. Ugh. Yay, 
He has no armor. I have ballistics as well now. One more, one more. Kind of interested in going for the extra range in Castle Age. So I will go for a castle with the purpose of getting the extra range Yeoman. It'd be interesting. Get him. He has to micro that guy forever. Uh, yeah, it won't be long, but I, I just want to get the extra range, at least for the opening. Why right, is my are my villagers going there? Storm my life. Yeah, they've got a confirmation that we have more TCs than them. That's good. Or like, at least that this should be his third TC or second even. One of those. Miguel betting getting aggressive here. Please let them fight. I will have to expand to get a get a gold. Get another access to gold. Okay. I think we got a confirmation here about economy. He's he very likely sent back the other army to clean that one up. They will allow that while we take position on the front of his base again. Just make him always chase us. Shoot! We're even getting a decent trade here. I can't complain. Ready. 
Так, мы за упи. Агрит. This whole army chasing us in the back. Get the relics. Not that you need it, but for peace of mind. Uh, I don't think relics are that important either because there is a time limit, right? If there wasn't a time limit, it would probably be a bit different. Oh, we had another PC there. But considering there's also a time limit. I don't think it's as important. Yeah, one is wood though, right? 750. Can't afford it. At least not yet. Oh, uh, okay. That was a pretty decent trade. G to the G. I, I'm a little bit confused by it. Like, he went fast castle, but he didn't put any pressure upon getting castle age. That was a bit strange. And he just lets me set up my eco nicely and everything. Of course, he couldn't really do much damage anyway, but he could idle maybe a wood line for a couple of seconds and so forth. It was a bit um, strange. Yeah. Kind of done for. Economy, well, 3.5k more food, 1k more wood. But yeah, village difference is also quite big. He, he spent a lot of the game chasing our army, right? As for Baltic, I think I might go Mongols. 3-4-3 three, three with Sunshine, right? I don't think so. <laughs> Japanese. Pineapple on pizza? Absolutely. 100%. I just have to pay tip as well. I'm disappointed, are you in Greenwood? I mean, where do you begin? All respect for him is gone in my eyes. I don't think you can come back from, from that. Yeah, dock is my second building. For a second dock, I think I will try. 
Now they're playing fire the back. It, it, I thought initially it was that, but after seeing the rest of the lineup, it does. It looks like a four-three-three. Three. So most likely, uh, most likely we have Lindelof at her right back. He just went up. That's a low HP villager. You might target that. I did not find extra sheep, so that's something I definitely should look after. What? I didn't hit him. Damn it. Oh, I don't have loom. True. <laughs> that backfired a little bit. Just cancel the wrong one. Wait, am I losing both? Okay. <laughs> that could have been really ugly. What? Oh my god, one of my dogs is not in a control group. Ugh. This is so bad. <laughs> I'm in really bad shape here. Because I have no economy. I actually think I'm going to idle to get fletching as well. Trying to switch to Gallius. You gotta keep scouting so we get higher score. So it looks like we are doing better than we are. It's all about the score. What uh, you're perceived as from the outside. Mm -hmm. 
don't know why this guy couldn't can never get into formation with the others. Like he's a loner by himself. He never gets into the actual formation. Like why? Just get involved, bro. See a barracks. Oh no. Oh no. This ain't pretty. It ain't pretty pretty. It ain't pretty at all. You're dead? Very likely. You have one water? But the sacrifice I made to win water will essentially have no eco. And we might even lose water still. Let's find out. Now we won't lose water. We might lose water. It's looking bad, it's looking bad, it's looking very, very bad. Let's call it. It's over anyway. Uh, he has eco on the, on the land. Uh, we don't. This eco is not uh, an efficient economy, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I should have, instead of scouting the map to get more score. Oh, there's some sheep. They would have actually helped. Just found those. Instead of scouting the map for score, I should have probably scouted his base to see what he's doing. So let's have a look at the um, table that we can look on. You want to compare the economies? Look here. He has 400 more food, 700, 800 more wood, uh, 750 more gold. If there's anyone without eco here, it's us. We have it. This is the group stage we're playing at right now. So we just played Miguel. Uh, so we will probably go up to first place then. Okay, Lan has played, so he is around. We'll probably schedule with him. So Bra, Kapac, Nico, and Lan are our remaining opponents. But right now we're looking pretty good for getting to the playoffs. Gotta keep that going. When I look at the other group, ACCM dominating. Daniel is there. Jordan, Tato, Dark, Doubt, Monos, Dugao. Doubt looking bad right now. Looks like Dugao has given up his spot. He's not playing apparently. Anyway, that's the tournament we're playing right now. So whenever you're wondering what the DWL is when it stands on the scoreboard, it's a Deep Waters League, a Deep Waters Pro League Season 2. That's what we're playing right now. So, yeah.